Well, since RGA right now is doing an event a couple months back for the Rainbow of Positivity, as they put it, you know, the cover LBGT Plus games and whatnot, I figured I'd take a look at some of them. I want to hold off on date nights, though, on the grounds that the developer, as far as I'm aware, is currently working on trying to finish it up. So, instead of playing the demo, I'd rather just wait for the complete game to come out. At least that's the plan. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through the other entries in this um, series, to be honest. Because a lot of them, you know, are just demos, or... Well, this one's just a kinetic novel, really. You know, we got some visual storytelling going on, along with the writing, so... There's not much to, to do here as far as gameplay goes. There's no branching paths or choices to make. You just have to watch and read. Which means I'm just here to make snide, snarky commentary for the most part. On everything. This is a brown room, man. Wait, are they going inside a locker? Huh. Well, at least we don't have to see any um, PDA, I guess. But you guys really need to be quieter. I mean, come on. Or how about you do it in a broom closet like proper couples? I mean, come on. These are boys aged from 13 to 18 you continue their scholarships with discipline and loyalty. This actually is strictly prohibited. The love between Hugo and Arthur is stronger than anything else. Hugo? Darn it, now you got me thinking of Mythbusters. Because there's a myth where they bring in a giant foam shark called Hugo, and he, at the end of the episode, he's Hugh gone. Yeah. That poor shark. They blow him up. In the name of science! Yeah, I don't know why I'm going off on that for so long, but... What can I say? Oh no! They've been caught by Victor! <laughs> Sounds like the name of an evil villain, to be honest. Someone else. I've heard someone walking quite fast. Will he denounce this to the professor? If so, we'll be in trouble. Why didn't he open the locker? Where's that new student will rejoin our class now? We're about to be late. Well, hopefully he doesn't have a clue who was in there. I suppose being the last two members of class to show up, it's going to be pretty obvious. Students, a new student is rejoining your class today. <laughs> Victor, would you please introduce yourself to the group? So, my name's Victor Cromwell. Oh, so he's a witch. Or I guess a wizard. <laughs> Didn't think we'd meet a member of um, Halloween Town's most famous wiz magic-wielding family here, you know, but it is what it is. And, and, where do you come from? Birmingham, England. I figured he was going to say Alabama. With a banjo on my knee. My father is the Council of Denmark. He sent me to Rosarium to learn discipline and loyalty. Boys, introduce yourselves to Victor. Oh, we got someone from France, huh? I'm guessing you're not particularly impressive, Mr. Frenchman. Christian Ellsworth. I live in... What was it? Watford, England? I'm just going to assume these are all places. I mean, it wouldn't be hard to just look up some names and just drop them. Swan Sea Whales. That made me think of the Brown Sea. <sighs> An RPG Maker game where you have to conserve the environment by killing mutants. <laughs> well, that was a fast introduction. Thank you seriously. He only looks like he's 13 years old. Is he the typical brainiac? Southampton, huh? Definitely got another game reference I can throw out there somewhere, I'm sure. Well, I hate you already then, Frederick, because my glass is half empty. I guarantee it. Probably wouldn't want to hang around you either. I mean, Davidson? Harley Davidson? And your name Damien? Like in Damien Wayne? So it's Bruce Wayne's son riding a Harley. <laughs> I don't even know where the Isle of Man is. Is the Isle of Woman exist too? Jeez. Leave the snide commentary to me, damn it. And he's referring to an island near, um, Ireland, if I remember correctly. I think they brought up in the Fairy King of R or whatever. A bad movie I watched a while back. Limerick Island. They tell a lot of limericks there. 
What a bland personality. Vandersaul? Hmm. I got nothing. I mean, the whole Jimmy Jim bit sounds a bit like they ripped it off of Superman. With everyone's favorite cub reporter. Oh, Belgium. He's probably high then. Belgium. Why do they come from all these places? Another Hugo. Oh, wait, he's probably the same one we saw earlier. That voice is so close to what I've heard. Why is he staring at me like that? Looks embarrassed. See the person who heard me and Arthur? James. And he's red? Damn, a Thomas the Tank Engine joke? Yeah, I, I can't pull anything out of my butt for that. I'm just gonna bring it up and just leave it hanging. Because I really have nowhere else to go with that. I mean, I guess we could talk about Super Thomas, but that would mean talking about knockoff toys. A leader? I don't know. I never thought anyone would want to follow James. I mean, seriously, it's James. No one trusts him in the Thomas universe. I'd rather follow Percy, and he's a complete prat. Yes, comforted. Very much so, especially if it involves a locker. And I get to be on top. <laughs> Why does this look odd to me? Sheldon? Sheldon Cooper? Huh. <laughs> Guess we got someone really famous here. Oh, Blair? Like the Blair Witch? What's with all these people with relationships with witches around here? Huh. Nicholas? I guess there's no O there. Hmm. Eh, I can't come up with anything. I mean, I guess there's that we could talk about Ferguson, you know, in the U.S. and the whole water problems, but I don't want to bring up something so depressing, you know, in the middle of a game like this. Though I wish they'd left some music in here. Antonio? Super Rat? Oh, great, we got Flat Earther in here. Ugh. Just kick him out now. He's too dumb to be with the rest of us. I'll tell you Rosarium's history. In Latin, Rosarium means roses. That's why you have a rose on your uniform. Dude, if I wanted to go deal with roses, I'd go play Duelist of the Roses on for Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? Even if the war is over, Rosarium is still existing. Loyalty, respect, and discipline is Rosarium's motto. Why do we have different uniform colors? I was about to explain that, you little pissant. Students are aged from 13 to 18. Each age is linked to a uniform color. Green blazer and blue tie for 13-year-olds. Yellow blazer and dark gray tie for 14. Orange blazer and red tie for 15. And blue blazer and red tie for 16. Oh, so that wasn't red, it was orange. It's very orange is red. Oh, I guess there was a red blazer. It was an orange tie. Jeez. Victor, now take a seat. Math class is about to start. So everyone gets the same lessons despite being in different age groups? Seems a bit weird. I have to solve exercise number 11 about polynomial equations of degree 2. Looks like AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. Huh. Well, now, that sounds tricky. We're missing B, so they become AX squared plus C equals zero. Who wants to go to the blackboard and correct one of the two polynomial equations? Oh, great, they're calling out Hugo? Four times X squared minus five equals eight, huh? I could probably do this math. If I took my time, let's see. 4x squared minus 5 equals 8. So that means 4x squared equals 13. Huh. I'll see how that works. So we have 4x squared equals 13 divided by 4. Which isn't a whole number. I'll just leave it like that, though. <laughs> oh, come on. That's where I was going with it. Oh, 3.25. Yeah, I guess that does work out relatively okay. 
Hmm. Our square root of 3.25 and my square root of 3.25. Fine, but it seems odd to me to use square roots on floating numbers. Could you simplify more? Square root of 13 divided by 2. Very good. Christian, the next one is for you. Christian? Christian! What? Should you please stop dreaming in class about meeting Jesus? You can do that later. Seriously. Math time now. Sorry, Professor. It's always time for Jesus. What can I say? I squared minus 4 equals 0? Well, now. Means nine x squared equals four equals four. <laughs> hmm. By using the square root of both sides, I eliminate the exponent. So it's plus or minus square root of four n over nine. And that's it. it. Lacks rigor. Is a fraction under a square root enough? A repeating value, huh? Or one of the numbers and another at the denominator. Square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm just happy I can do even some of the basics at this point. It's been a long time since I've been in a math class. Well, that's good. We're going to move on to something a bit more interesting this time. Recess? I don't remember really having recess at 13. How does it feel to study to Rosarium? Proper English much? What does that even mean? What is your question? How does it feel to study to Rose? I mean, come on. That sounds dumb. Sure knows how to teach to boys like us. But... Something I need to tell you. We're going to class. I've heard two students having sex in a locker. Seriously, the nani sound? Yeah, strictly forbid romance. Even the bad kind. We're not even allowed to sing the song about it. Sooner or later, now we gotta talk about Breaking Benjamin? Gosh darn it, they're just going all over the place with these topics. Could you see who was in the locker? Not really sure. I think I recognize Hugo Huxley's voice when he introduced himself. As far as they're almost the same voice. I'm gonna punch his face and announce him to the professor. We should investigate. If Hugo had to be one of the two guys, who would be the other one? Actually, Hugo's very kind, so is Christian. Why are you dreaming so much in class? I'm developing my imagination. I'm going to be a world-famous author one of these days. And I'll change my name to C.S. Clark. Did you know I had a B-plus on my last writing? A fantasy story with a witch and a goth boy. They need to rescue the witch's sister who has been manipulated by a wizard. jeez. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize. I had a sensation of deja vu while listening to this story. Sorry, I, I need to go outside. I have to wonder if that's meant to be a breaking the fourth wall joke. I haven't looked at the developers' other projects, though. Is he? Is he really? No matter how much time it would take, the cake will be found and announced to the professor. So you guys are suspecting it's Christian because he daydreams? Great, now you're going to start listening, telling me that people with, you know, their eyebrows close together are transsexuals or something stupid. Yeah, I suppose you would get caught. What's going on? Victor's investigating with Nicholas and Sheldon. He's almost sure you're one of the two guys. I knew it. Do you see the stare he gave me while he was introducing himself? Was I the only one to see that? Well, determinated. Don't you mean determined? I guess he was determined and terminated at the same time. Huh. I guess he's going to find the truth and then kill it. Just stay natural and ahead of me. 
We don't want to be caught. Yeah. I'm not sitting, on the, sitting at the same table in class, but I'm not sure that Victor will think you're in a couple with Antonio. He's too kind. Don't you mean so are you? Ugh, whatever. We should talk to Damien. I think he'll listen to us and help us to find a way to get out of this. It's trustworthy and a very mature person, unlike everyone else that wants to punch us. You're gonna ask, you know, the son of Batman for help? I suppose there's worse picks. Uh, sounding, but that's the problem. No one else should know that. Damien, Arth, and I are gay. Yes, we're violating them horribly. Our love is stronger than that. Fine. I don't say anything about this. So not sure who goes inside. He's investigating with Sheldon and Nicholas. We're going to be identified. You don't have to worry. You just need to act normally. Like, seriously, don't even look at each other. That is pretty mean. Does everyone think Christian's gay because he daydreams in class? That's horrible. <laughs> well, they're going with it. French, huh? Two words to say. I don't know what you mean. For the French class, I'll be forming pairs. To your levels, huh? I ask Hugo, Arthur, Pierre, Christian... Joseph, Dan, and Antonio to go to the blackboard. Well, now. Suppose this is going to lead to trouble. So, what, is it going to be them against everyone else? Victor? Christian, Jimmy will be your partner. Well, now. Pierre, go with Rowan. I obey. Me, French robot now. <laughs> Joseph, you'll be with Oliver Twist. I don't know how I missed that one earlier. Yes, King Arthur will be with Frederick. I wonder if he's related to the Weasleys. Who knows? Doesn't really have the right hair color for it, though. Hmm, the son of Batman with a wizard? Eh, whatever works, I guess. Hmm, well, Nicholas is screwed. Exercise for day. The conversation you'll have with your partner must prove that you are a master of the vocabulary of emotions. I don't care. I mean, I can't remember hardly anything from French class at this point, so don't expect me to try and translate their dialogue. This could be horribly correct, or... I guess it would be horribly inc horribly correct. It'd be horribly incorrect. Or it might be very much correct. I don't know. Would you please stop laughing at me? What do you mean your accent looks funny? Your accent is what you sound like. Are you insulting Belgium's accent? I shall murder you for that. Intriguing. Jeez. Is this supposed to make things all the more mysterious? It's not, huh? What, is he asking him questions about if he's gay? What you said meant I didn't t touch something. <sighs> Gandhi is not an object. If you after me... Eh, whatever. Jeez. 
I know, I know we're skipping through this, but like I said, I can't really read it. Actually, can't talk to someone with two word long sentences. Make an effort. I've already realized that. It's not easy for you. So some of them really can't speak at all, huh? Damn, Nicholas just likes to punch people. He's even worse James than James normally is. Jeez. Yeah, is this another clue? Not really. He'll be gay if he plays with his sister. You can't play with your sister if you're gay? If anything, you'd think that'd be a better choice, because, you know, dolls and everything, but whatever. I mean, that's also stereotyping, but, you know, you can also be a burly biker dude and be gay. So, you know, not really going to think about it. Ugh. Two hours later... What, Plankton finally decide to invade? Well, the day's over, is it? You may go to the refectory. I assume that means lunchroom. Huh. Victor's always staring. I'm getting nervous. Arthur's touching my shoulder. Got caught in the act, hadn't you? Don't try to hide your relationship to me and the others. There's a bee on Hugo's shoulder. Victor. It's not very respectful. Yeah, you need evidence. Don't you dare. That was nasty. Jeez. Well, now. But by accusing without evidence, he angered other students such as Pierre, Ron, and Damien. Now the students go to their dormitories. Eh, but what about their laboratories? Whatever. That was fine. What's wrong with you? I'm just exhausted. Let me sleep. Yes, you should. Because it's probably going to be a long day tomorrow. What? We got we to gotta watch? 2.30 a.m. Now what? When the class will begin, you should denounce your homosexuality. And be expelled as well as Arthur? Don't want that. Suppose they can't. Um, or don't. You can keep it in the closet if you want to. Well, it's not like we get a choice in the matter. will come to an end you mean, as well as Arthur's. Well, great, someone else heard. And they left. Try and suppress her not to expel us. Pulling the Rosario is more important than anything. Well, great. When did you mock us? Oh, wait, you're the guy who called us out at the stupid lunchroom. Screw you. How can we be fired? We don't have a job here. We're students. Gosh darn it. So there are some problems for printing them. Um, for the internal rules for the year 1947. 
1940 homosexuality is not prohibited anymore. And either the students won't judge you anymore. Didn't need to have sex in the locker. Like, seriously, can you do that in a bed next time? Yeah, seriously. More discreet. Well, congrats, guys. Whatever. And so you and Arthur are allowed to be in a relationship. Happy end? Who knows? After all, they were doing it in a locker. That's just really bad form there. Was the final exam this morning? Oh, crap! Hmm. Should not be judged at all by anyone. You're right. What people do in their own bedrooms and whatnot is my is their own damn business. At the same time, I'm just going to say, you know, everyone should keep the PDA in public to a minimum, and don't be screwing in lockers. Seriously. You're going to get caught. Lockers are a terrible place for that stuff. Not to mention, you probably would end up, you know, hurting your back. Well, that's Rosario Mum boarding school. That's sort of a weird ending. I really need to add more music to this game. At least I guess it's a completed project. Um, I'm not sure what to really say about it. Oh, well, until next time then. See ya.